Okay here folks, I'm going to introduce you to somebody special. This is John. He's the organizer of the Earthwalk event. And I think if we're really, really nice to John, he might give us an interview. Hey John, how you doing? Oh sure, I'm pretty easy. <laughs> Yeah, no, doing great, and, and hello everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out to Earthwalk. Uh, this is our, our third year of doing uh, Earthwalk here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, here it is, it's November, and uh, we're, we're going strong. Um, and I uh, just wanted to say how, how good it feels to be out uh, every month to, to support the planet. And, uh, you know, it's easy to take the, the planet for granted, but, um, the, the truth is, it's really our, our source of everything, and it's, it's just, uh, I feel like it, it's time that we, we, we be better stewards of, of our planet and take better care of her. And um, one thing that I've I found with Earthwalk is that even though our, our numbers are sometimes kind of small, not as many people as i like to see, but the, the response that we get when we're out on the street, out walking down the sidewalks so many people are just like so uh, engaged and energized by us that it's really reassuring that it's it's really truly in people's hearts that they, they do want to protect the planet and they do want to do what's right by the environment Pe people and, uh, want to do something to help the planet yeah you know but there's yeah. not a lot of avenues um, you know for a real person to try you know, like they tell us to recycle stuff, and you recycle it, and then sure. they, you know, bundle it up and ship it to China, yeah. and it sits in a in a bundle there. But people want to try, you know, to help. Yeah, and, and there are real things that we can do as, as individuals. Um, uh, I, I don't want to preach, but, you know, if you're looking for good ideas of what we can really do to make an impact as individuals, one, one real thing is we can reduce the amount of meat and the amount of dairy that we're eating. Yeah. Uh, our our uh, consumption of, of beef, particularly, is just—it's been increasing and increasing, and it's—it's—it's it's, it's a real heavy weight on on the planet in so many ways. The resources that go into it, the methane—that's a byproduct of it. That's that's leading, or adding to the, uh, the the global warming. So I think just by you know like. Taking one, one, one step of eating a little less meat, you know, maybe one less hamburger uh, a week, can and really make a difference. Yeah, and it's, it's something that, that we can do. And you know, I think we, we need to look around the world, and you know, people are, are really uh, concerned for their own existence. I mean, with the the warming that's been going on just in this last year, and the, the trends, the trajectory that we're on. You know, people are seriously concerned about their survival. And then there's a lot of us here in the uh, developed countries that, you know, our, our survival, we, we just take that for granted. And, and our choices are like, well, gee, what do I, what do I want to, how am I going to entertain myself uh, this weekend? And, and what are my friends doing? And so there's, there's just so many ways that we can be more and more conscious. Uh, another another thing that we can all do is is be more conscious of the amount of waste that we create and and how we deal with that. Uh, especially putting food waste into the uh, into the regular trash, which ends up in a landfill. I mean, that's 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 just been the wrong way of handling it yeah. for forever. As long as we've been doing it, it's been wrong. And there's a clear, easy way of getting it right. And it's, it, it belongs back in the compost. And so, like myself, what I do at home is I collect all my food waste and I put it in, in the yard waste. Uh, and that, that gets picked up and that ends up in, in a compost uh, on a city scale. Um, so, I mean, that, that's uh, another uh, another idea that I, I practice at home is I, I really hardly ever do I use my clothes dryer that, you know, we can just hang dry our clothes. It might take a, a day or two to fully dry, but that extra time spent is saving the, the energy that, you know, and right now that energy is being produced through fossil fuels uh, 
pr primarily. I mean, the, the majority of DTEs energy is, is coal and then uh, natural gas and then nuclear. And so, I mean, th th this energy is not clean that we're using. So if we can reduce the amount of energy that we're using, we're also reducing the amount of pollution we're putting up in the air, which is leading to the, to the global warming. So, and, and every little bit helps. Right, right. So these are like just little things that we can do at home. And, and right. it does add up. Um, you know, I, like these things I've been doing for uh, about three years, I would say now. And I think over that time, it's, it's be, you know, I'm just one person, but that's a significant amount of, of uh, energy that's been saved and pollution that's not been put up in, in, into the air. So right. it, it feels good that, that we can, you know, do things on our own that do make a difference. And, and what is cool too, is that you're getting together and you're going out here and doing the earth walk. And what you're saying is you're trying to, you know, get in front of people and show them that you can make a little bit of a difference yourself and that they can make a little bit of a difference themselves also. And you know, Absolutely. pretty soon there's two, then there's four, then there's six. And if we all band together and everybody does one thing with the dryer, that's yeah. saving quite a little bit of electricity there. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, I like what you're doing is coming out every first Saturday of the month and, right. and and telling everybody, you know, that we're physically trying to make a difference here. We're not just sitting back, you know, on our computer and, right. and complaining about it on Facebook or something. We're actually trying to do something. Right. And, and, I, and maybe that might catch on and somebody else might want to do something uh, too. And I think that's why it's really important to, to stay positive. Right. To look at positive things that we can do and not, not try to just pass blame and point you know, where, where the problem areas are. Or, or push it off on somebody else. Right, right. It, it, it's, it's, we all can make a difference. We right. all can have an impact. And, and we're all connected. And so the more, the more that we do, it really does rub off yep. right, on people. And, and, and it helps. Yeah, and, and it does. It really does make a difference. So, you know, I'm, I'm just so glad to be here with, with Earthwalk. And um, it's, it's been a great year, and I'm looking forward to uh, next year. To next year's uh, yeah. season of, of Earthwalk. And we'll be out here uh, once a month, that first Saturday. And actually, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we'll increase it. Maybe right. it'll, you know, I would love to, to see it. It'll grow every on Saturday. its own. Yeah. You know, I uh -huh. mean, the, the, the planet deserves it, uh, raising the consciousness of our well, environment. Well, I've noticed that, um, you know, I'm getting up in age, and I've noticed that, um, you know, back in the, in the 60s, say, for instance, there was, you know, a few people on the bandwagon, and they were saying, you know, we had to save the planet and this and that. But nowadays, there's even more. And, you know, even if uh, a lot of stuff is not getting done immediately, it seems to me that there's more people in tune with it and that want to try and do right. something. Because our, our future is on the line. Right, and, and, it, and the interest the, is growing. It, it is growing, naturally, because the, right. the, the younger generation is realizing that the, the future is not guaranteed. The trajectory right. that we're on, it, it does not look good, but it's not too late to make the changes. Right. So that's why I mean, it's really critical now that we do come out and, and we have a presence. And, and, and it's that critical it really that we all matter. get together. Right. Yeah, and try to do it all at once. Right. Well, hey, John, give us your web address one more time. Okay. Well, yeah, that is, it's earthwalk.love. Right. So www.earthwalk. Love. Right there it is, folks. There's right the in. web address right there. You yes. get in touch with these guys, and you know maybe you can join up for one of the Earth Walks. And thank you, Global TV. You guys are great, and good to see you all out there. Yeah. And let's hear for the planet Earth and sustainability. Thanks an awful Peace lot, out. John. It was great to see you again. All right.